m'avait promis une belle carrière, très belle carrière de photographe. Jusqu'à un moment où on me dise euh, non, tu ne pourras pas, car les gens que tu prendras en photo mourront, tous, aucune exception. À ce moment-là, je me suis dit, je partirai de France, j'essaierai de trouver d'autres endroits, et pareil, ça continue, ça continue. Aujourd'hui, j'en ai assez, juste assez. Je suis maudit. Putain de maudit. And the beer. Thank you. Here we go. What's in your camera, Ati? No, Ati. You find that you're not going to win. Let's not waste our time. What is that? Is that your camera? Eh, uh, yes, it's mine. Are you a photographer or something? Eh, uh, yes, unfortunately. I'm. Eh, uh, 
photographer, but you know, like it's complicated. To okay, to that's something. You sound very unhappy about that. No, just the, the life, you know. I, I, I don't know what your job, but uh, when you work in uh, audiovisual things, uh, sometimes it's complicated. I know, I'm an actress. Okay, yes. okay. Yeah, and I'm a, a director actually. Okay, I didn't yes. know. Okay. And uh, you work here in Greece, in Kramata, or...? Uh... So, well, uh, I've been to Hollywood once. Okay, yeah. nice. But Never what's your name? My name? It doesn't matter. Okay. Anyway. Because I never heard about you. <laughs> just be, you know, I'm here, just taking my pictures. And, uh, you know, it's complicated in time, but I love it. Just, um, I know audiovisual things can be really complicated. And, uh, and uh, what kind of photography do you like? I love portrait about people. Okay. And um, I don't know, documentary photography, this kind of shit. Yeah. It's always with me, but uh, it's like I feel really connected to this camera. I don't know, you know, sometimes when you want to work and uh, improve what you do, you just want to be, how do we say, ready, you know, about what you want to do. Yeah. I don't know if it's the same for you, like uh, searching for uh, something to shoot. Yeah, of course. I mean, uh, most of my scripts have to do with uh, religion or philosophy. Okay. I mean, like, uh, how to get closer to God in the first place, and uh, how to escape from that. Okay, that's very interesting, yes. God. Yeah. I and think art can be found in very unfamiliar places, you know, like mm -hmm. everywhere. And did you... Um, ah, how do you say, sorry for my English. Um, play in the movie that he, he made? Yeah. Okay. I have uh, portrayed okay. Birds and Mary. Okay. So you are really into religion? Yes. That's just okay. Me too. In a way. Really? In a way. Do you believe in God? Uh, I believe in God. I believe in God that... Uh, you know, I believe also... Not in the... Um, what do we say? Like, God is really interesting, you know, but I think I prefer, like other uh, character in the religious things, you know. I'm not really a believer, I'm just, uh, I don't know, I want to believe, you know. And okay. uh, there is something in my life that made me believe about mm -hmm. this. We all have things mm -hmm. to believe in, in the end. But, I don't know, just uh, sometimes religions make me feel really uncomfortable, you know. Uncomfortable, all the story that I feel. What? I think it's the way that uh, religion is perceived by people nowadays, mm -hmm. you know? It's uh, perceived as a moral code, like uh, enforced by those in power. Mm -hmm. But it's not about that. It's about believing, you know, in a higher cause for me. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know about you, but it's me. You, you believe, so you create your movie because you uh, believe. It's uh, kind of complicated about me. I don't uh, actually really believe. Okay. But, uh, you know, I'm searching for the philosophy behind uh, Maybe you uh, search for a question. No. No, actually, neither questions or answers. I'm just trying to explain things mm. and uh, behaviors. Okay. With a little uh, paint of uh, religion. Okay. Yeah, that's about me. So that's why your movie helped you? Yes, yes, that's true. Okay, nice. Because uh, I had another question for you, so because you asked me if I was a believer. But uh, do you believe, so if you maybe believe in God, you believe about life after death? I think. Oh, in the afterlife. Yes, um, after life. I'm not really sure. I really, I really want to believe. Mm -hmm. I'm, uh, I'm afraid of death. Okay. I really want to believe that there's uh, something after that. Isn't that the reason we all believe in something? Yes. Like we are either motivated by hope for yes. something better or by fear for something worse. Mm -hmm. And that's why art is there. You, know? yes. you can, you can how do you say, um, show to the world your the thing that really frightened you, you know, like uh, all your scared, all the things. Mm -hmm. And um, it's very interesting. 
Like uh, yeah, I use it like that actually to to be more comfortable with what's scaring me, you know. Okay, and I get it. That's why the portrait of people it's a really good thing actually. Like uh, I can show them okay. the time, sure. But I can mm -hmm. also show to myself what I'm scared about, and uh, it's good. Like uh, all this philosophy about. Yes, how art can uh, convince us about what we uh, believe. You know? I don't know if you know what I mean. Sometimes in English I'm really bad to philosophy, but... No, no it's okay. Next cup, no. And how come did you end up in Greece? Oh. It's a long story, I traveled a lot for many reasons. <laughs> and you know, uh, I think that people either travel, travel for something or they are traveling to get them away from something. Which one is the case for you? Have a cigarette, maybe? Yeah, of course. Of you. Thank you. I was supposed to quit, but no. Yeah, I always keep saying that to myself. Yes, and uh, also in Greece it's really like uh, it's cheap. Mm. So it's really hard to, to quit, I think. Mm. <laughs> yeah, and the nightlife here in Greece is really cheap and uh, yes. it's really fun. Everything is like, you know, compared to France, like you have to buy a, this kind of, a, I don't know, yes, to buy a pack, I think. Like it's a 15 euro, it's like that. Like here it's seven, so it's okay. I know that it's not the same salary well, in Greece, yeah. but... Uh, it's just. different economies, you know, like different salaries. Yes. Like uh, things that are considered uh, from a French viewpoint mm. here in Greece, they're... Expensive. Yeah, they are not, yes, I can understand. Okay, so I don't want to be like, uh, you know, enjoy the fact that uh, it's not, uh, it's because it's a poor country that uh, I am like, oh yes, it's perfect for me, so. Yes, actually, in Greece it's uh, No, there's actually something that uh, actually balances that. The economy okay. here is not great, but uh, when you have a night out mm -hmm. or a party, you really have the time of your life. Mm. What balance is it? Well, uh, even if you party hard, and you can party hard in Greece, uh, you cannot put aside everything that happens, you know? Like yes. Here, right now, it's very difficult, everything. Like, uh, from the economy viewpoint, or even protesting your rights, you see oppression all over. You see the power that forces people. I think into its, no, its own way, you know. Yes, I think it's the same everywhere. Maybe sometimes it's more like um, really like difficult in some country when you have like so much uh, things to um, revendicate, you know, like you want something and uh, you have nothing, you know. And it can be really difficult because I know where I come from in France, like uh, they want a lot of things, you know, but they have a lot of things sometimes and uh, it depends really on the country that uh, you go. Just I just keep in mind the party and that we say like uh, just because sometimes yes you have enough you know, like uh, even of um, how do we say struggling or something just you want to forget everything and, uh, I don't know if it's your point of view or yeah sure I mean uh, for me enough is never enough hmm. <laughs> thank you for the cigarette actually no problem Paris though how do we say yeah. 
De rien. De rien? Oh, you speak French a bit. It's really fun. Okay, so you like this band then? Uh, you? What's your favorite band or artist? Uh? You know, I don't really listen to rock music anymore. Okay. I listen more to hip hop lately. Ah, nice! Yeah. Like boom bap things. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Because uh, I see it like as a form of art where people that don't necessarily have uh, you know music knowledge, they yes. do not have like a a music education or a degree, uh, they can express themselves in a very simple way, like mm -hmm. just with beat and uh, some lyrics. Yes, that's and, true. And uh, yeah, it's very accessible, you mm -hmm. know. And you have some uh, people that you like, especially like uh, yeah. there is some Greek uh, famous. Uh, yeah, of people. course. Okay. Of course, uh, especially nowadays in Greece, it's getting more and more popular right now. Okay, nice. More and more people they're trying like uh, to express themselves, you know. Mm. For me, that's what art is all about, you know, being accessible to everyone to yes. express. Not only to some people that they know, yeah. they have the knowledge, so they can understand the uh, things. Like, uh, yeah. for example, I really love art, and three of us we are artists, so maybe we know. Just uh, I don't like, uh, as you say, like uh, you know, some contemporary art, you know, that it's really specific, like really weird, you know. And then, uh, yes, it's just accessible to people that they have the knowledge, you know. And uh, some people, like, uh, they just want to express themselves. Mm -hmm. will be like, uh, okay, what is the point? Uh, I don't know anything. So, yeah, more in a uh, like natural way. Yeah. Thing. I feel sometimes, you know, nowadays, uh, some very uh, uh, very like established artists they are trying to do like art for art you mm. know like uh, as a sole purpose to uh, art to evolve itself mm. but uh, for me it's more like uh, art for the society uh, okay. and art for each one to express it's not something that is completely uh, different from everything else. Yes, like more, uh, not art to make money, but art maybe to to question him, you know, to yeah. just, uh, I don't know, like uh, maybe in a political way also, like to change the mind, to express things. And Φαίνεται περίεργος λίγο, ε. Δεν μπορώ να καταλάβω τι κάνει εδώ. Και αυτή η κάμερα είναι συνεχώ στραμμένη προ τα εμά. Ρε, απλά νιώθω ότι μα κινηματογραφεί. Ότι είναι μια κάμερα στραμμένη πάνω μα. Αλλά όχι απλά, ξέρεις, που μας κοιτάει, αλλά που μας βγάζει. Μπορεί απλά, όντας ταξιδιώτης, να θέλει να κρατήσει κάποιες στιγμές. Ούτως ή άλλως μας είπε ότι το άρεσε το πορτρέτο. Που σημαίνει ότι θέλει να κρατάει κάποια πράγματα εσωτερικευμένα για πάντα μέσα. Δεν ξέρω. Νομίζω πως απλά υπεραναλύουμε κάποια πράγματα που δεν χρειάζεται. Δεν ξέρω, εγώ θα ήθελα να φύγουμε. Αυτή η κάμερα με φρικάρει. Greek is really nice, actually. It's very to interrupt you, but uh, I don't understand nothing. But just uh, I understood camera. You have the same word than... Uh... Yes, actually, we have the same word. Okay. Just yes, I wanted to know, because I have the camera. Uh, if I can take uh, pictures of you, like just a portrait, if you are not uh, clean with this or something. Yeah. yeah, okay. Sure, you would. Okay. Wait. Just 
to immortalize this moment. Just smile. Yes, and just one of you. And one of you. Putain, vas-y, ça me saoule à terre, c'est bon. Bon, en vrai, je peux pas faire, moi. Au bout d'un moment, je pense que la meilleure des réponses, 